Friday, February 22nd, 4 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at a large earthquake that's occurred down in Ecuador within the last hour. A major 7.5 quake has occurred just one degree below the equator near a community named Palora, Ecuador. And we'll take a look at the grid here on Google Earth. We'll put the longitude and latitude on here, and you'll see that Palora sits at the one degree south latitude just below the equator in Ecuador. That's a very large earthquake. It originally was a 7.7. .7. It was just slightly downgraded to a 7.5 at around 132 kilometers deep, which is around 80 miles, 82 miles deep. There's since been an aftershock directly west of the major earthquake, and that aftershock is 5.5 at 82 kilometers deep, which is around 40 miles. So that is a major earthquake that's showing up on the seismographs right now as I do this video. These are the primary waves, and you can see an instant spike in energy not far from the epicenter in Barbados, Panama, um, this energy will make its way around the world as the primary wave will register on these seismographs. More than likely, anytime there's a quake, usually above 7.5 especially, all of these seismographs will um, end up turning jet black as they feel the energy from that very powerful earthquake. It tripped buoys down off the coast, the west coast of South Central South America, over a thousand miles away, which was interesting because the earthquake was up here just below the equator. If you look at Google Earth and the location of this earthquake, which is right here, the buoys that it tripped are right down here. Taking a quick measurement from here directly to here, you're looking at just over 1,200 miles away. Two buoys are now in event mode, and it was from the main earthquake, the 7.5 because those were not in event mode right when, when this earthquake occurred I went straight to the buoys and they were all quiet within 15 minutes those two buoys went into event mode so that just tells us that they detected the energy from this earthquake there's not necessarily going to be a tsunami in this area from the earthquake even though that's what they're here for they do detect uh, tsunami waves but I don't think there's going to be a tsunami in that area the buoys did, however, detect the main energy, just like the seismos did here, from the 7.5 earthquake in Ecuador. Very large quake. And it's just on a side note here, we just had a supermoon back on the 19th. This is a photograph taken by Nick from Tucson. The 19th into the 20th during the full moon cycle was another supermoon. And then we have a large equatorial earthquake, initially a 7.7 downgraded to a 7.5 about 80 miles deep just below the equator so we'll keep an eye on these seismographs as most of them probably all of them will more than likely at some point today turn jet black i know a lot of you have been asking about the schumann and i have too this is the resonance of earth and the resonance of earth is normally in the 7.8 range which is right up in here and when we see these big spikes of energy in the Schumann resonance of Earth, we question where the energy comes from. And those are big spikes. I mean, that's up over 40. And that was in the last couple of hours. So I don't know if it's got something to do with possibly the supermoon. I'm not seeing anything related to the sun. There's no solar flares or anything like that. We did have a coronal hole, but it didn't really generate a whole lot. So don't know what to make of that, guys. But yes, I have noticed it. I check this every day just like you guys do. And I can't quite put my finger on it yet. But we're still looking at multiple options. But right now, a 7.5 large earthquake has occurred in Ecuador at around 5.30 a.m. local time in Ecuador in a populated area. So we're waiting on more information to surface on that event. But that was a very large quake. And there are aftershocks occurring right now as I do this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day and be safe out there.